Um, so the one that I chose was, was very recent. It was working with um, a student of mine. Um, he's a, a, in the final year of his um, bachelor at my university. Uh, and I'm his mentor and um, supervisor for his final year project. Um, his project is surrounded by quite a, is a, a very serious topic. He, he's looking at ways to improve um, how people experience um, end of life preparation. But we were looking at it from a really serious perspective. And it was only when we started questioning how was that was that relevant was that the right way to approach this does it have to be this sort of serious grim face approach to it that we realized no we could look at this from a different lens a different perspective and gain much more insight um, that it's a normal part of our existence it's it's not something that you can make light of but at the same way it doesn't have to be this funeral director black suit and and miserable experience it's something that everybody has to deal with and when we started to look at it from a different perspective things really started to um, roll and we're, we've gone on a very different trajectory so my takeaway from that was change the lens reframe the question um, and I guess that's something I'm still learning to do myself as a design educator If they're approaching it singularly, they're never going to get this holistic experience. So by speaking to people, by gaining that perspective, they're going to be able to solve the problem in a much more natural and a much more um, considerate manner, I think. What we did was so applicable in so many different contexts. Um, I could have filled a whole page. Um, we were asked to say, what courses could we apply this to? Everything I've ever taught, I think, um, would, would be that. And what organisations? Um, it was great to hear people's perspectives from, from the US. There were, there were lots of people saying, OK, this could work in, obviously, um, an elderly context within a homeless context, um, helping different charitable organisation contexts. Speaking from my own perspective, Singapore is a very rules-based society um, and going out and dealing with people in the community um, in such a sort of free manner may be frowned upon. So there may be certain constraints that I couldn't take this approach as freely as I, I might like to. Um, I also think that taking things out of the classroom would be very unusual for a Singaporean society. Um, specifically within the, the, the university that we are, I don't know if that is the done thing. I'm still trying to find my feet within, within this new university, so maybe I need to be there a little bit longer and, as an observer before I kind of take these risks and, and change things up. Um, I'm not sure if it'd be frowned upon or welcomed, so I guess I will find out. <laughs> There's so many questions as to whether, how relevant we still are. And I think today has made me evaluate that it's that emotional connection that still gives us our relevancy.